The square number of any odd number, except the number 1, can be expressed as the sum of two consecutive natural numbers. Now this portion that is except the number 1 will discuss later in the video. First discuss the other part. So let's take odd number 3. If you find a square of this 3 you get 9. This 9 can be written as 4 plus 5. Let's take another number, you have 5 odd number, find square, you get 25. This 25 can be written as 12 plus 13. If you take another number that is 7, you find square of it, you get 49. And this can be written as 24 plus 25. You take next odd number that is 9, you find square of it, you get 81. This can be written as 40 plus 41. And if you take 11, square of it, you get 121. You get, if you add them, you'll get 60 plus 61. And let's take last number that is 13. If you find a square of it, you get 169. And this can be written as 84 plus 85. Okay, now if you look at these two numbers, that is 4 and 5, two consecutive natural numbers, 4 and then 5. If you look at 12 and 13, two consecutive natural numbers. 24 and 25, two consecutive natural numbers. 40 and 41, two consecutive natural numbers. And same thing with 60 and 61, 84 and 85. That's why we can see a pattern, see this pattern with the square number of any odd number. That is, you can write them as the sum of two consecutive natural numbers. Okay, the next question will come to your mind will be that how to know what that number will be? Suppose if uh, you have to write, uh, let's say 223 square. Now if you have to write it in this form, that is sum of two consecutive natural numbers. And that's really a very good question. But for that, I'll show you another pattern in this one. And using that pattern, you can quickly tell what that two consecutive natural numbers will be. So, if you look at 4 and 5, and what is this number? This is 3. What is this? 4. So, 3 square minus 1 divided by 2. If you divide it by 2, so you get 9 minus 1 is what? 8. You get 8 divided by 2, and you get 4. So, 4 is here. Okay. Next, 3 square, that is this number, plus 1 divided by 2. 3 square is 9 plus 1 is 10, and if you divide 10 by 2, you get 5. That is 5 here. Okay, now let's jump at this one. So you have 5 here. So 5 squared minus 1 divided by 2. 5 squared is 25 minus 1 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. This 12 is here. 5 squared plus 1 divided by 2. 5 squared is 25 plus 1 is 26 divided by 2 gives you 13. That is, that 13 is here. Let's take this one, 7. So 7 squared minus 1 by 2. 49 minus 1 is uh, 48 divided by 2 is 24 and 7 square plus 1 divided by 2 49 plus 1 is 50 divided by 2 gives you 25 so 24 is here 25 is this one right so if n is your odd number if n is your odd number then n square will be your square number n square will be square number now if you have to write it 
in the form of the sum of two consecutive natural numbers, then that will be n square minus 1 divided by 2 plus n square plus 1 divided by 2 that we have seen here. It means if someone asks you that using this pattern, can you write 223 as using this one? Uh, sorry, the square of 223 as this uh, using this pattern? Yes, you can. So I'll leave this calculation for you. What you have to do is simply put this 223 here. So 223 square minus one divided by two. Let's say you get A. You solve it, I'll leave it for you. Okay, so this is A. Then 223 squared plus one divided by two, you get, let's say you get B. So this is A plus B. You can write it in this form, where A can be found from here, and A can be found from this one, and your B is this one, right? Now, why this except the number one? Why this except the number one? Well, some of you will say that, can't we write one as one as zero plus one, right? We have two numbers and two consecutive numbers. Yes, but for that, you'll have to focus on this one. Consecutive natural numbers. Zero is not a natural number, right? Zero is not a natural number. That is why we have written here except the number one. So the pattern is the square number of any odd number except the number one can be expressed as the sum of two consecutive natural numbers 